KW Right to Life presents The Preborn Victim of Abortion. In one of a series of films, KW Right to Life takes a look at the reality of the right to choose abortion. Alex Sabiga describes her personal experience working with the Canadian Centre of Bioethical Reform and how they engage the public about the forgotten victims of abortion. One time when I was in front of a high school, I asked a high school girl what she thought about abortion. She thought for a moment and she said, she's pro-choice, she thinks abortion's okay. Then I asked her if she believed in human rights. She responded, yes, she does. To that I said, okay, good, me too. Now who gets human rights? And she kind of looked at me funny and she said, humans? And I said, yes, okay. And then I pointed at my sign that I was holding of a 12 week old aborted fetus and I said well then isn't abortion a violation of this human's human rights? She looked at my image closely for a, for a few moments and then she said yeah I guess you're right I never thought about it that way. And I asked her after seeing this image do you think differently about abortion? And she said yeah, yeah, I do. So my name is Alex Subiga. I'm 22 years old. I'm a university student and I live in Kitchener, Ontario. I volunteer with the KW Right to Life and I've spent a lot of time working with CCBR, the Canadian Centre for Bioethical Reform. Now CCBR is an educational organization that fights abortion through exposing it through the use of abortion victim photography. Because when you're debating against abortion, isn't the person who has the most to say the victim himself? During a choice chain once, which is a project where you hold abortion victim photography and you ask people passing by their thoughts, a woman was pushing a stroller with a small child in it. The CCBR activist stuck out a pamphlet and asked her what, do you, what her thoughts were on abortion. Then she admitted, when I was pregnant with my daughter here, I was planning an abortion. But then I saw a truck drive by with images very similar to the ones you have on your sign. There was an image of an eight-week-old aborted fetus, and at the time I was eight weeks pregnant. After seeing that image, I knew I couldn't do that to my child, and so I cancelled my abortion appointment. When I first started to work with CCVR, when I did my first project, I was really nervous about it. I wasn't sure if this, this method was good or that it worked, um, or if I'd be comfortable enough to, to try it out, but when I did it, I talked to, to dozens and dozens of people, and I heard the same things over and over again. People saying, I never thought about it this way before. I've never seen that image. That's really sad. Yeah, I think abortion is wrong. The use of abortion victim photography exposes the injustice because when an injustice is invisible, it inevitably becomes tolerable. But when an injustice is made visible, it then, only then, becomes intolerable. And so, and so many, many people who say they're pro-choice use a lot of rhetoric to, to justify their stance. They say, it's just a clump of cells, it's not a human yet. Um, it's a woman's choice. But what is that choice? And who does that choice affect? And by showing images of the victims of abortion, we see that it's not just a clump of cells. It, it is human, a very young human at that. And this choice ends that human's life.
if we want abortion to end, we not only have to do um, what we're comfortable with or the pro-life work that we desire to do, but we have to do what's effective, what works and what has results. And CCBR, through the work that they do, time and time again, people's minds are changed, people's hearts are changed, and lives of babies are saved. As the saying goes, a picture's worth a thousand words. And so how much is being spoken by these pictures of preborn children being dismembered, decapitated, disemboweled? It's not a pretty picture, but abortion isn't pretty. And people need to see it to, to understand what's actually happening. Sometimes during a a project CCBR was putting on, uh, an activist asked a woman walking by what are her thoughts about abortion. She looked at the images and she started to cry. She said, I had, a, I had one. So at that point the activist felt pretty uncomfortable. He didn't know what to say, what to do. So all he asked, he, he said, well, what do you think about these images? Well then, to that, this woman started to appear really angry and said, I didn't know that that's what that looked like. I didn't know that that's what an abortion was. And because of that, my baby had to pay, with, pay for that with her life. And so yes, these pictures aren't pretty, but people need to see them. People need to see them to understand the truth. My experience with CCVR is during my second year of university, I went, a, went out for a week with them to do their genocide awareness project. Now I was hesitant going in, but after that week of so many incredible conversations and so much effective change, I decided I need to keep doing this. If I want to do pro-life work, I want to do what works. And so I'm going to keep working with CCBR. That led me to do their summer internship last year. So I spent four months in Mississauga reaching out to the GTA with the truth about abortion, seeing once again so much change and so many minds reconsidering, questioning abortion for the first time ever. Now, after that summer, I still can't get enough because abortion's still, still around us, still a problem. And so you can't just do what works, but you have to continue to do what works. And so I'm joining once again for another internship this upcoming summer.